You big doof. It's over. Free needle. Dunion rings. It ain't over till a chubby lady sends, parrot. Not as long as I can do this. Dang. Wrong button. Uh, can we pretend this didn't happen? You gotta be kidding me. No evil robot overlord jazz? You're just... this? I'm a Webster. All I've ever had was this Valkyrian station and its AI, Bob. And it's not even his real name, I just started calling him that. I used him and now he's gone. And CRT, that's just a big fat lie. Why? Why would you do all this, man? I never had a choice. I never asked to be the son of a dictator, to be cold-hearted and cruel. Things are expected of me. Wait, back up. Who are you? I am Tiberius Julius, the heir to the Wemsterian Empire. Whoa, so you're like a prince? No more. This was my last chance. I've been nothing but a failure and a laughingstock for my entire life. And unless I conquered a planet, the father said I'd be exiled forever. Wow, that's pretty rough. Look, I get how it feels to be left alone. But you do have a choice. You never have an excuse to be a complete butt and destroy other people's lives. I needed to prove myself. I figured people fearing me would be better than people ridiculing me. But now, I'm all alone in this galaxy. That's not true, sir. Bob! Hey, you're alive! You've never had to prove anything to me, sir. <sighs> and you're not alone, sir. You have friends all around you. Really? Of course, dude. But you have to promise to fix everything you mucked up down on Clover Island. I guess. I, I mean, yes, definitely, of course. I 
do hate to be the proverbial party pooper, sir, but it seems that the cipher you extracted is rather disagreeing with being separated from its moon. It's pulling us into the atmosphere. What? Well, that's just great. Not too great, I'm afraid, as this station wasn't designed for landing. Expecting a hull break in 10. Oh, no. What are we gonna nine, do? Hold on, guys. Eight. Seven. This eight, might get bumpy. Six. No, wait. That's five, not it. Uh, I swear I had something for this. Two. One. Oh, what year is it? Did I do good? Impressive stunt, sir. Quite brave indeed. <clears throat> is it too late to pretend like uh, I knew this was going to happen from the start? I think it is. Far too late, sir. But that was the raddest ride of my life, dude. You saved us. I've got a warmish feeling in my chest. Is this what friendship feels like? Yeah, dude. Sip it all in. This is amazing. But what if my father finds out about all this? Hey now, let's burn that bridge when we get to it! And that's how our hero was made. It all worked out pretty well in the end, didn't it? CRT finally let go of his shackles thanks to his new friends and could truly be himself. Plux learned that the world moves on with or without you and that doing nothing ultimately achieves nothing. Skylar defined what she was told to be for what she wanted to be. And with all these cliches, it's only fitting to say that it seems like they all lived happily ever after.